Hello, internet friends. Today we're gonna to learn how to make a UV snake light for curing the inside of hollowed out 3D resin prints such as this roper. So these three holes in the bottom, lets the resin drain out, and then you need to stick a light in there to cure it so the resin doesn't glorp up over time and seep out. Uh, this is a roper character uh, created by artist Miguel Zavala. You can download it for free on his Patreon and also on Thingiverse if you wanna make one of your own. But uh, let's get in. It's super easy to make these things. You need a couple components. Um, you can get all this stuff on Amazon uh, or you know, a nine volt battery at the dollar store or supermarket, wherever you, wherever you get your batteries. Uh, first off, you need the UV light. This is just a UV tiny uv light bulb the old ones on amazon used to have like a little this little capacity there transistor or whatever it is you had to like it came separately and you had to like soldered in this one comes soldered and heat heat wrap um heat tubing wrapped shrink wrapped on so that's really good so this is good to go you just you could just hook this to a battery if you want to be really really mellow you could just like you don't have to do anything you just do show you yeah, i can't yeah see it works just like that with just the battery we're gonna go a little one step fancier on this one um this is the second thing you need. This is a T-type uh, nine volt battery connector, just bare wires. And um, I put a couple of heat shrink, um, heat shrink tubings on here, rubber tubing. Uh, if not, when you when you when we're gonna put these wires together, you can you can just use electrical tape to wrap each wire to insulate it and keep it together and to keep it from touching the other connection. Or um, or like I said, you can use fancier tubing, whatever you have handy. Super easy to make this. So we have two pieces here like this. All you're gonna do, you get a black wire and a black wire. I'll just go like this. I'm gonna put them next to each other and I'm gonna. Just wrap the wires together. I, like I said, if you have a soldering gun or you know how to solder, not know how to, you know how to solder or Google how to solder, you can easily solder these together. But I, this is just a simple little thing for getting, making, you know, a, a tiny light for resin prints. You're, it's going to get glorpy and messed up and whatever, uh, messed up and whatnot uh, eventually anyway. So you'll probably just make another one or buy another one. So I don't, I don't think it's, it, this will last plenty long with this wrap like this, especially if you use the tubing or the electrical tape wrapped around it. So I'm wrap this up like this and then kind of mush it together and then I'll do the same thing for the red and purple the colored white you know black's black and the color wires should be two reds but it's red and purple I think they use purple to like make the light side look snazzier because it's you know it's a purple hued UV light connected to it so there we go they got these together I'm gonna get my uh, tubing I'm gonna slide it up over here like I said you could you could also use um, electrical tape if you have it electrical tapes a little more uh, readily readily available uh, easier to get I think but if you have this tubing, I had this left over from another project, just slide it over your connection. Now, if you have a heat gun, this is when you need to heat gun it to shrink, to shrink fit the, the shrink wrap to it. I don't have a heat gun. Um, I don't even have a cigarette lighter, so I don't even smoke cigarettes anymore because I'm old. You know, you know, I'm a dad, so I'm trying to make a good, good example of my son. Uh, I have a barbecue lighter because that's what I do now because I'm old and giving up on life. But all you do, real quick, you just go under and just shrink the wires on there. You don't have to torch them. You just want to see it, like, just shrink a little bit. Do, do, do. Perfect. See that? See how the wires kind of like now it's held together nice and tight. Now, um, let that cool for a second since so stick to your table or your hand will burn you. The, the on off switch is simply connecting the nine volt battery to the back of this. Boom. And there you go. You got a snake light. I mean, this is, you know, these little wires are like six inches each. So let's give you a foot. Uh, it's plenty big to put up here and then to, to cure your thing. Let this, you rinse this out, let it dry like you would normally. I let, I let my my things dry overnight. And then you just put the light up there, snake it in there as far as it'll go. And I sometimes I push it, if it's a longer one, push it all the way to the end for like a you know minute, 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 two minutes, then move it down a minute or two minutes, and that's it, cures the inside. Uh, these lights, bulbs, are rated like 390 to 400 wavelengths versus the 405 that's recommended for like a curing station for your uh, your printer. So like if you're doing a two minute cure time, you probably wanna do three or four minutes to get the inside cured. Um, and you probably don't care if it's crappy, but like you can see a little bit how there's like a glow through the mouth. That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, you, you can um, you can get these parts on Amazon. I also have them for sale on our website um, at 3dmini.com or the components as well. But uh, yeah, you should you can make these in like under five minutes and they, they're really super helpful.